în acest video. Andy vorbește despre tehnica ei, mă de ce este una dintre cele mai bune modalități de lucru cu clienții, pentru că este o tehnică fără conținut. În plus, vei afla ce se întâmplă cu persoanele care participă la curs și întreabă colegii de curs care este problema lor. Dacă n-ai făcut-o încă, uite-te și la video precedent, care dai click pe bulina aici și îți va apărea. În acel video vorbim despre cum poți folosi tehnica IMT pentru grupuri sau uh, pentru familie. Hai să vedem acum de ce este această tehnică fără conținut și ce se întâmplă cu cei care participă la curs și întreabă colegii care e problema. Hai să vedem! So, when you apply IMT, when you use IMT, um, do you need details from the person you're working with, like, you know, what the problem is, what's the history of the person, what's the history of the situation of the problem of the case? Do you need any of, of, of this uh, information? And if so, to what extent? Now, IMT, I would say, is the ultimate um, um, clean model in terms of we do not need to know any data about any aspect of the client. Wow. Um, all I need the client to be able to do is to access a state or a feeling and report back how strong it is out of 10. Is it strong? Okay. Is it not strong? That's the only data we actually need to work this process. Now, that in itself, that, so the, the model IMT does not need any data. Um, so we nice. can do completely covert and secret work. Yeah, yeah. Free uh, content, with, yeah. Content free, so I'm sorry. So this is why I've proposed that it's a, it's a fantastic model for working in environments such as prisons or the military where people aren't going to be too keen to talk about their stuff yeah. um, because it's, it goes against the culture. Yeah, yeah. Now, the flip side of that is then we have to look at professional conduct and ethics because are we sensible if we're working with clients and we know nothing about them whatsoever and yet we, we, we make a whole bunch of assumptions? So it opens up a whole ethical arena. But the work itself doesn't require any disclosure of stuff. And it's something I make everyone agree to at the beginning of the course, which is during the training, there is no disclosure. You do not reveal your own personal history to anybody in, in the exercises, and you do not inquire about anybody else's personal history. This is completely secret therapy. Have you, have you, <laughs> I'm laughing because I can already imagine. Have you had issues in the, in the course with people who are just curious to know what the problem was that the, the partner just solved? Yeah. They're the ones you find standing outside <laughs> when the door is locked and they're not allowed back in. Yeah. No, I jest because a lot of the time I understand, I understand people's natural curiosity, but also people want to help. Yeah. And they often will think that by asking sort of meaningful questions and basically quite intrusive questions that they're helping, um, we're not we're not going to do that on our course. Yeah. <laughs> ah, nice, 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 nice. Yeah. I like that. And that's a, that's a big, big, uh, you know, selling point, not in the terms of making money selling, but in, in terms of helping people um, open up to therapy because many, many clients will not come to therapy because they feel ashamed or afraid um, to, you know, give the details of their issue uh, and therefore they would never you know, seek therapy. But if they know that they can actually come to a therapist, to a practitioner of IMT, um, uh, who will not ask them any questions, just say, you know, think of your problem and let's solve it, without actually telling me any details, that will open a huge door to a lot of people who otherwise would not join uh, the therapist. Can I just give, I can give you a, a, an example as well that immediately comes to mind. And this was, this was a few years ago. Um, I was contacted by a lady who said that she had had a traumatic experience that had basically ruined her life. Um, I, I, she would gave no details. What she did tell me, though, is that she had, had no wish to relive it, to discuss it, or to give any reference to it, because any revealing of those things would be too much for her. Yeah. Plus, she now has a trust issue. Where, you know, where am I going to go with that data once the cat's out the yeah. bag, so to speak? Of course. So yeah. I, I said, fine. She then gave me her history of trauma, of, sorry, the, the symptoms of her trauma. So, I mean, she was messed up. Now, what I said to her was, okay, so tell you what, let's find out if this body of work will be useful for you. Come along, um, come and see me for half an hour. We'll do an assessment. We'll just see if you respond to this work. Um, and then if so, then we'll, we'll proceed from there. Now, I, kind, I knew that if it, her description is classic PTSD, so classic post-traumatic stress, 
I know that it's not going to take me long to fix this. But I can't tell her that yeah. because that would simply insult her problem. It would insult the suffering. If I say, oh, yeah, you had a, you've had 10 years of suffering. I can fix that in 20 minutes. Yeah. Not a good way to be. So I, she came to me and I followed through the standard protocol that we teach on day one. Um, and it's just a step by step, very, very simple bit of work. Um, she said she found great relief. She went away and contacted me a few days later to tell me that basically she no longer had any of the symptoms. Nice. And follow up six weeks and three months later, she continued to be completely symptom free. Now, in her world, she never disclosed anything and we never even did the work. I was yeah. just doing an assessment. So the whole framing of this was that we're not doing therapy on her. Therefore, there's no pressure on her to give any disclosure. Um, and yet it was astonishingly effective for her. That is the classic and typical report I hear from practitioners and trainers when they're working with, with pretty messed up people. Um, is the speed, of, the speed of the work and the effectiveness of it is remarkable. E bine, acum ai înțeles ce înseamnă terapia fără continuu. Sunt convins, îmi doresc din tot sufletul cel puțin, să uh, realizez cât de important este acest concept și cât de important este pentru tine să cunoști această tehnică și să poți ajuta oamenii fără ca tu să fii nevoit să știi problemele lor și e important și pentru tine și pentru ei. De ce? Pentru că foarte mulți oameni vor vrea acum, vor dori acum să vină să le ofere ajutorul tău, să beneficieze de ajutorul tău pentru că știu că nu au nevoie să dezvolui niciun secret, nu au nevoie să uh, spună ceva ce nu-și doresc să spună, n-au nevoie să scoată la iveală detalii pe care nu vor să le mai uh, răscolească. Foarte mulți oameni evită să meargă la terapie pentru că, uh, eu știu, uh, le teamă să afle altcineva despre problema lor, le este jenă și așa mai departe. E bine, folosind tehnica IMT, n-ai nevoie de această problemă, ea este eliminată din start. În video următor, Andy ne răspunde la întrebarea ce poți rezolva folosind tehnica EMT și de asemenea care este modul corect de a prezenta această tehnică uh, pentru clienții sau pacienții tăi? Pentru că dacă nu este prezentată corect, oamenii vor avea o, respi o reținere sau chiar o respingere față de această informație și atunci e ca și cum dai cu stângul în dreptul. E bine, în video următor, Andy ne spune ce probleme poți rezolva folosind tehnica EMT și cum să prezinți această tehnică în mod corect, astfel încât să-l ajuți cât mai mult pe omul respectiv. Hai să vedem ce are de spus chiar acum.